Baja Luz, Brian Voss, waiting to get started here in the semifinal, and we had an opportunity to talk to him and ask him what he thought it would take to win here this evening. Well, I think uh, any telecast, uh, the most important thing is, uh, is just being relaxed. Um, uh, I, I can look back in my career in the times when I didn't bowl good, uh, I just didn't get myself together and wasn't real relaxed, but uh, if I go out there and, I, and I'm relaxed, uh, I approach the lanes, uh, I'm going to play the lanes uh, the way that they tell me to and not try and go out there and, and, and uh, bowl my game, but just let the lanes tell me what to do and just relax and uh, that'll help me stay focused and, and you can't say enough about concentration and confidence. Uh, I haven't won in two years. Uh, I'm the number two seed. If I win that first game, uh, that should be pretty tough. Well, this is going to be very interesting because what's happened is is uh, lane 18 will not go into a first ball cycle. Brian was talking about he just lets the lanes determine how he's going to play them. Well, in essence, what's going to happen is the players are going to contest game number three on lanes 16 and 17 if they can't get 18 operating. Well, I think they're giving it a, a small time limit then for here. What the tournament director, Johnny Campos, will do in this situation is he'll say to the mechanic, you give me an absolutely honest estimate of how long it'll take to fix that machine. If it's two minutes or something like that, they'll wait it. If it's five or more minutes, he'll say, we're moving. If he has to go to okay. 16 and 17 at this point, Brian hasn't thrown a shot on lane 16, and neither has uh, has Bob. So that's a total mystery over there, what that lane is doing. Boss had a great shot on lane 18 throughout the entire practice session. So we'll see how that factors into the scenario. Spaulding ambling on over to lane 16. And apparently that's indeed what will happen. 16 and 17 is where the players will contest the semifinal. That's amazing. What a bad break, really, for both players. I mean, they, they have no idea what this lane's going to do. They threw a few practice balls, you know, over an hour ago on it, but that's it. It's like Saturday morning Junior League. One slide, and that's it. Oh, 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 look at Bob All he can do is turn around and say, yeah, this is a little different from lane 18. Well, I don't know that it's that much different. He was doing that on the other ones, you know. Of course, uh, he was doing that on 17. He gets a, an opportunity and a spare, though, right away. Voss hasn't thrown a shot on there. And Brian, interesting in, in what he was talking was about staying loose. If anything would tighten him up, this would be it. All right, let me ask you this, though, as uh, we watch Bob Spaulding shoot the nine pin on lane 16. Yes. Does Voss go up on 16 and throw the same shot, same angle that he, say, would throw on 17 just for the first opening shot? He has to because okay. it's a mystery. I mean, it's an absolute mystery to him right now. We'll I mean, have he, to wait. He, I mean, because he really didn't learn a whole lot from Spalding's shot because he's playing a different part of the lane. That's Brooklyn. We've seen a number of those tonight. He said, hey, Vespa used it, Spalding utilized it, so I might as well go ahead and go with one. Now let's see what he cooks up here for his opening shot on lane 16. You know, he watched, he had to watch, as I noticed. Oh, he, the ball comes back on 16, amazing. He threw it on 17, and he came <laughs> back on 16. <laughs> they faked him out here. <laughs> Somebody's back there is right, Brian, the mechanic, and he's thinking fast. This well, is he's thinking, this is a guess, this is what he said, but he has to be thinking the back end is flying. get out of Spalding's way. I wouldn't want to argue with Spalding either myself. No. I mean, he's probably a gentle giant here, but... You know, really, when you look at the big picture here, though, too, these guys are used to moving from pair to pair to pair throughout the tournament with no practice shots, just reading the lanes and, and making good shots in their opening attempts and adjusting from there. That's true. That's an excellent point, Dan. They are used to doing that. I mean, when they move from one pair to the next, they don't get any practice shots. The first shot has to count. see what kind of an adjustment he makes after almost missing the head pin on the left. I have another question to ask. This game then is contested on 16 and 17. What if during that time they fix 18? Does the title match go back to 17 and 18? I don't know the answer to that. I don't think so. I think this is it. A little deeper inside. 
And he's coming closer to the 1-3. As he leaves the 3-6. Goes back and gets his spare ball. Says, I might as well take that over here. <laughs> I may need it over here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Probably goes a little straighter. Ooh. Converts the spare. Now Voss gets his rosin bag from over on lane 16. See our see our handheld camera back there dancing around <laughs> in this picture here. This is a little tough for our crew. has come out beautifully and open with a three-bagger, and he has Spalding on the ropes early. Brian Voss right down the first, second, and third board. Ball's going to break right into the one-three pocket there. Beautiful shot. So reminiscent of the 300 game that Jim Steffen had shot. Back in 1973 or four was that? It was 74, I believe it was. Mel's South Shore Bowl. Right, Ray Bowl 300 doing, going back and forth like this. That's right. When he was lane 16 and lane 18. Yeah. Oh. Now see, that's what I'm talking about. What a great adjustment that he makes on that lane after just one shot. After one shot, right. I mean, that's a world-class shot. Brian playing right down lane 16 here to the one three boom his reaction Spalding's got to get going he knows it Ooh. just no hold left at all on that lane he just uh, still thinks playing in the wrong part of the lane maybe he doesn't like the first second or third board Probably is not his strength as he...